I'm so glad how Wheeljack turned out in the Bumblebee movie, unlike what he looked like in Dark of the Moon. Hello everyone, it is Briximus Prime, sorry for the delay, back for another Transformers action figure review, and today I'm back at it again, doing the Bumblebee movie deluxe class, Wheeljack. And, uh, yeah, let's just get right on into the review by starting with that package. And now with Jackie out of the way, right up front here, we got a nice rendition of Wheeljack right there. He's number 81, Studio Series Wheeljack, Hasbro, Transformers Generations, Takara. Here on the top, Bumblebee Movie. Here on the side, another image of Wheeljack with an Autobot logo. Authentic Transformers! Here on the back, obligatory product shots showing off everything in the for the figure. And then here on the side, we got number 81. It says he's the deluxe class. Nice mug shot of Wheeljack right there. I like how he has like a mouth but he also has the face plate at the same time it's an interesting design anyway that is basically it mostly for the packaging actually before we get into wheeljack i almost forgot he also comes with this cardboard backdrop here and that's a not and that's not a bad look for some display options wheeljack only comes with the one gun which is surprisingly the exact same one that that ratchet came with only the differences between the two is Wheeljack's is smaller compared to Ratchet's, and Ratchet's had a square peg on the other side, where on the opposite side there's a circle peg. So, some slight differences here and there, but other than that, it is basically the exact same gun. And here is taking a look at Wheeljack's head sculpt. Again, nice interpretation of Wheeljack. I like the metallic paint there for the eyes on his mouth, and also for the, the blue here for his ear thingies. Very nice looking sculpt. Very much like this head sculpt a lot. Coming down to the chest, I like the green with the Autobot logo there. The red and the white looks very nice. And again, he's cast out of that off-white plastic, just like the Earthrise Wheeljack. That seems to be his new color trend. Not lovely mechanical detail going all throughout the figure. And there are very subtle differences of green and red throughout the figure, making him not too plain, keeping him all interesting. And surprisingly with the transformation, this guy actually has quite the complex transformation. Very clean back here. There's his little fin things right there. They attach onto his shoulders and not on his back. And then for weapon storage and robot mode, you can take that hole and you can plug it right in there. And Wheeljack can store the gun right there on his back. So very nice stuff going on with the robot mode. Now going over the articulation. The head is on a very tight ball joint and also a swivel at the base. So it can swivel all the way around. It can look up pretty far and it can look down not too much. And it can pivot from side to side that little bit. Shoulders rotate a full 360, these things hinge up and down, this thing's hinge in, in and out. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, no wrist swivel, waist swivel, hips can move forward, they can move back, let me go out a little bit, forward and back, they can do the full splits, thigh swivel, and then bend at the knee, ankle can hinge up and down that little bit, and it has a very limited pivot, just like ratchet, but it is still there, so... Pretty okay articulation here on Wheeljack. And for size comparisons, here's Wheeljack compared with the last Bumblebee Movie Deluxe Class figure I reviewed in the Studio Series, the Bumblebee Movie Deluxe Class Ratchet. Be sure to check out that review if you missed out on it. And as you can see, Ratchet is just a little bit taller than Wheeljack. Wheeljack's more in scale with Bumblebee, and Ratchet here is kind of more on the standard deluxe class size but don't but don't don't be mistaken their engineering and everything is just as the same as each other neither one of them feels like they're not worth the price to get them so anyway that is it for the comparisons and before i forget here is the studio series wheel jack with the earthrise wheel jack and now we'll get into wheel jack's transformation <laughs>
here is Wheeljack in his vehicle mode. And, uh, yeah, I have to be completely honest. Wheeljack here, out of all of the Bumblebee movie deluxes, has the best Cybertronian vehicle mode out of all of them. The colors really come together on this mode very well, and the engineering is just... <clears throat> blows my mind. You can tell that Hasbro put a lot of care and effort into these vehicle modes. There's so much mechanical detail, and I like the transparent wheels, and the painting just really comes out. And as you guys saw before, for the weapon storage, there's a little tab here that goes into this little hole right here, and the weapon can plug in right on top of Wheeljack, and that doesn't look out of place on the vehicle. That's very nice. And yeah, Kibble is pretty minimal. Now, his feet are made of clear plastic, so just be aware of that. There's a lot of clear pieces on this guy, so just be aware not to break anything. So, yeah, he rolls pretty well. Very sleek looking vehicle mode. I really do like him a lot. Here is the Bumblebee movie Wheeljack compared with the Earthrise Wheeljack vehicle mode. And here is Wheeljack compared to the Studio Series Deluxe Class Ratchet. And as previously mentioned, the Ratchet, he does compress down quite a bit. And they're actually roughly about the same size in this mode. Actually, Wheeljack's even a tiny bit longer than... Um, than, than Wheeljack. He is a tiny bit taller, but like they are roughly r more around the same size. Like Ratchet really does compress down, and Wheeljack really kind of stretches out a little bit. But yeah, very nice pair of, care of vehicles here. And that is basically it for my review on the Studio Series Bumblebee movie Wheeljack. I really do like the figure. He does look a little bit chubby in some poses on some angles, but that's I'm not going to dox him for that. He's still a really good figure. He's a nice deluxe class. He's in a good size. He's got really nice, um, actually quite complicated engineering, especially in the legs and the torso. Like He actually has got some really good stuff going for him in his transformation. And overall, I do like him. It's just these tiny little nitpicks that I wish they could fix, like giving him, giving him wrist swivel and ankle pivot could have been deeper, or you know, just tiny little nitpicks. Same things I had with Ratchet, like just these tiny little nitpicks. But overall, I don't really have anything to complain about. So if I had to give this figure a rating, I'd give him a solid 9 out of 10. As I said, just tiny nitpicks, but it's nothing to dox the figure for, and it's just my personal preference. I just can't fully love the figure because just those tiny little things. But overall, I really like this guy. I highly suggest you try to get this guy if you can, especially if you're a fan of Wheeljack. And uh, yeah, that is basically it for this review. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Be sure to like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time.